competition uh, in deep shipwreck recovery, especially when you add the archaeological component, which is the core of our business, we have very uh, few competitors. Every shipwreck uh, that we go after is a real thrill uh, for not just me as the president of the company, but for the team, marks the culmination uh, of a lot of hard work that gets us to that point. But the second thing, and the exciting thing about it, is you're getting to see for the first time something that's been missing, you know, in the case of the Garasapa for 70 years, but we've actually found wrecks that predate Christ. You know, weather is a constant impact on our business since we operate offshore in a pretty harsh environment. Uh, even more of an issue when we're operating places like the North Atlantic where the Garasapa was lost. Uh, so first of all, we have very limited weather windows to work in that particular part of the world. It's basically June through September. Uh, because all the East Coast hurricanes end up tracking and making a right and end up in our operating area, which was about 300 miles off Ireland. So we have, uh, we have to, number one, work around the weather in our planning, and number two, we're victimized by it throughout operations and do have to suspend operations when sea heights get above about 10-foot seas.